Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to downgrade the original iPhone back to iPhone OS 1.0. So, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, before you downgrade your device back to iPhone OS 1.0, your serial number has to match uh, what I'm about to say. So, the third number of the serial number has to be a 7. Then the fourth and fifth number have to be 48 and below. If it's anything higher than 48, it will not work. So keep that in mind. Uh, if it is anything higher, you cannot downgrade to 1.0. So let's begin the process. So the first thing you want to do is put the original iPhone into DFU mode. So if you don't know how to use DFU mode, you hold the power and home button for 10 seconds and then release the power and continue home for... 15 seconds. So after you've done that, all right. So you want to install iTunes from the link I have below. Uh, it was all the things that you need. Um, so you're going to need the IPSW uh, Z iPhone. Uh, this thing, Z iPhone, Z iPhone 3.0. That will all be in the same folder. Now, for it to work on Windows XP, because you will need Windows XP for this, it is required. So after you have all this done, you need to have net dot net framework, I think it's called. Um, otherwise, Z iPhone will not work right. So, once you have all that stuff done, what you're going to want to do is shift, restore, and then first you want to downgrade to 1.1.4 twice. So, once you want to click on the IPSW. Alright, so it's going to go through this process. I'll be back. I'll do a time lapse and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so when you get this error 1015, that is perfectly fine. Your iPhone should look like this, it should be on the screen is perfectly fine. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to the device and do restore with the same firmware again. Alright, so now you should, uh, now you got to click 1.1.4 once more. I don't know why, but this will do it again. Now I'll time lapse it to show you what's going to go on. Alright, so once it's done restoring, the second time you should get the same error. If you don't, just try again. Alright, so you click OK now. It's going to tell you all about the stuff. Alright, so this is where uh, Z iPhone comes into play. Uh, Z iPhone patch, sorry. This one with the iPod. So you want to open that up. Alright. This is the two things you want. You want debug, boot, and then I erase. You want to check both of those and click start. I'll have the camera angled at a position. There you go. Click start. Okay. So when you see all the text on the screen, that is perfectly normal. All right. So we just wait for this to be done. Should be in a few seconds. All righty. Close out of that. Close out of here. All right, wait for this to boot up. All right, so now it's gonna on the activation screen. So you're gonna want to open up iTunes again. Perfectly normal. Okay, so now you're gonna want to put the device back in DFU mode. So. Okay, so sometimes when you connect it, it will uh, try to restore it again. Now that's perfectly fine as long as it shows a white screen like this. Okay, so now this is where you want to restore back to iOS 1.0. So you want to do the shift restore again. Wait for this to load. Alright, so now you're going to want to go to the 1.0 IPSW. So double click that. And we'll go through the process of downgrading it back to 1.0. So I'll do a time lapse when this is done.
So if you get error 1002, that is perfectly fine, and then you should see a screen like this. Please connect to iTunes. Now it should have this caution logo, that's how you know you're on iPhone OS 1.0. So now, what you must do is close out of iTunes, go to Z iPhone 3.0, okay? So for this program to work, you have to have .NET Framework installed on XP, or else it will not work, but... Okay, put the device back right here. So once this is open, you're going to want to move this up. Show advanced features. Okay, so you're going to want to click activate. Click perform actions. It's going to search for the device. Okay, so now you should see text scrolling on the screen. Perfectly normal. Okay. You should see the Z logo. So now, it should boot into iPhone OS 1.0, activated. Okay, so now it's going to say slide to unlock. And there we are, we're on iPhone OS 1.0. So let me just go to uh, general real quick, general, about, iPhone OS 1.0. So that's going to be it for my video for today, hopefully you do enjoy, and again, all the links that you will need will be down in the description below. So follow my Twitter, Instagram links will be in the description below. As always, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. It will help me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.